Yo, what up? It's your boy Dexter Pipkins, aka Jimmy Nofro, aka Jimmy the Legend, aka the Legend of Hip Hop. Welcome to the Site to Go YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be going over the article Six Tips to Making Your Relationship Last. This article was brought to you by Emogen Bowler. Em Emogen? 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 Emo emoji? <laughs> emoji. <laughs> Still, this article is brought to you by Emogen Bowler. Shout out to you and thank you for the article. But before we start, I want to introduce you guys to somebody real quick. Everybody, this dog right here is Miko, my little chico. Miko is an amazing dog. He is a Maltese. I call him Miko because that is his actual name. The original owner gave him to us to keep in for a year until they come back to get him. But still, he's so awesome and sweet, and he's gorgeous. He can be temperamental, but yeah. You tired? It's very tired. Hey, right, say bye, man. Bye, guys. I love you. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Thanks for being a Oh, thank you, man. Oh, don't. Okay. So, without further ado, let's get started. Let's go. So, here we have the article Six Tips to Making Your Long Distance Relationship Last. It was uploaded on September 16th. Long distance relationships are romantic relationships in which there is significant distance between the two partners. This means the two partners may not get to see each other as much as they would like and it can often lead to difficulties in keeping the relationship going. In fact, some would argue that long distance relationships simply cannot work. This is not true however. And like every relationship, long distance relationships involve overcoming hardship. O'Leary et al. 2012 conducted survey research on those in long-term relationships to try and uncover what factors lead to happy relationships. In their study, they identified 12 factors which made it more likely for a person to be happy with their relationship. In this article, we will look at six of these factors and talk about how they could be applied to long-distance relationships to make them more likely to succeed. Number one. Thinking about the partner when apart leads to relationship satisfaction. This factor suggested that those who think about their partner when they are not together have happier relationships. This makes sense as if you're able to forget about your partner when they're not there. It's unlikely the relationship is that fulfilling. This factor is clearly relevant to long distance relationships as you will be apart a lot. To apply this factor to your relationship, try and think about your partner. It may be difficult as the fact you're apart will be upsetting, but it will help in the long term. Number two, spending time together improves feelings in relationship. The research also found that couples who spend more time together generally were happier in their relationship. The act of doing things together strengthened the bond between the two people. This may seem like it will be difficult to achieve in long distance relationships. However, due to the wonders of technology and the internet, it doesn't have to be. FaceTiming or Skyping your partner while you do something, playing an online video game, or even watching a movie at the same time and talking about it are all possible ways to spend time with your partner. Number 3. Expressing affection increases relationship happiness. The research also found that those who regularly express affection towards their partner were more likely to have long and happy relationships. This factor is one of the easier ones to apply to long distance relationships. Don't play hard to get, just let your partner know that you love them. Drop them a text, an email, even pin them a love letter. However you do it, show them you love them. Number 4. People feeling generally happy about their lives had happier relationships. This factor suggests it's not just about how you feel towards your relationship. Those with a positive outlook towards life are likely to be positive towards their relationship and towards their partner. It's not surprising then that they are likely to have happier, healthier relationships. It can be difficult to achieve happiness in life, but taking time for yourself and trying to work through your problems can benefit your long distance relationship too. Make sure to care for yourself. Number 5. Wanting to know where your partner is was a predictor of a good relationship. This can be a dangerous one. Being obsessed with what your partner is up to, demanding they tell you where they are at all times, and trying to control where they go are all bad traits in a relationship. However, taking an interest in your partner's life is not. Simply asking what your partner is up to or how their day has been and what they did shows you are interested in your partner's life and is easy to do even if you don't physically see each other much. Just don't overdo it. Number 6. Thinking positively about your partner indicates a good relationship. This probably seems like a fairly obvious factor. If your thoughts about your partner are generally positive, you are more likely to be happy in your relationship. This is another factor that is easy to apply to long distance relationships. 
Try and focus on the good within your relationship. Don't dwell on the negatives and try and discuss any issues you have with your partner. Remember, no one is perfect. That being said, do not allow this kind of optimistic attitude to your partner and relationship blindsight you to possible abuse. About the author and Morgan Bowler, he is a fourth year psychology student studying in psychology and psychological research with the plan of going into research afterwards. If you want to know more about Morgan Bowler, just click on his profile. The link will be in the description box below. Thank you for reading. Personally, I have to say that when it comes down to long distance relationships, I really do believe that they work. I've seen people who were in long distance relationships, for some of them it worked, and usually these tips help in many ways to build that long distance to make it even longer for the relationship. Now for last week's video, I forgot to ask you guys the three questions for that topic and I'm sorry for that. And on the record, I'm also sorry for missing Monday's upload. I know you guys were probably expecting that, I'm sorry about that. But now, here are my three questions for this topic. Number one, how do you feel about long distance relationships? Number two, were you ever in a long distance relationship before? And number three, if you are in a long distance relationship right now, does any of these tips actually help you guys out last longer in the relationship? Be sure to leave your answers in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching today's video. I really hope you like it. Please like and subscribe. Also, if you want to check out all of Sight to Ghost social media, it will be in the description box below. If you love Sight to Ghost, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you like what Dexter did today, make sure you go subscribe to his YouTube channel. It will be right here on the screen and in the description box below. Wait, wait, wait a little way. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing. And, <laughs> and peace. Ah!